Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the Spurgeon Study Bible. This one is in the CSB translation, which is a great translation. I did an unboxing of this one several days back, so I've had some time to use this one and read out of it, and it's just an amazing Bible. I absolutely love it. So on the box we have a replica of his signature. Of course tells us what it is there. This one is in the indexed black genuine leather which on this one it means that it is goat skin so just an absolutely beautiful cover there's a little bit about Charles Spurgeon if you'd like to pause and read that a little bit of information about this Bible Alistair Begg is a general editor so if you wanted to pause and read that about him and then this will just tell us some of the features so there's introductory biography of Charles Spurgeon study notes crafted from his own sermons, extracted sermon illustrations, which those are pretty neat as well. There are sermon notes and outlines in his own handwriting, Spurgeon quotes that are scattered throughout the Bible. There's book introductions with little insights from him in each book, topical subheadings. It's a two column format. There is a concordance, has a sewn binding, a presentation page, and full color maps. So there is your ISBN number, shows it retails for $99.99. I picked this particular one up on christianbook.com. I believe I paid about $66, $67 for it, worth every penny. You could also check Amazon, see what they're going for on there. But this is just an absolutely beautiful Bible. This goat skin cover is so smooth, so soft. It's got a very nice perimeter stitching on there. We have a replica of his signature in silver. We've also got a replica signature on the spine. We've got these great raised hubs. We've got Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible. And this one is done by Holman. But these raised hubs, I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful Bible. Super soft, just nice, nice feel to this. So on the back, it's just plain, other than it does show that it is goat skin leather. So, if you take care of this, it's probably going to last a lifetime. So on the inside, we do have a paste down liner. Feels like it is done in vinyl, but the stitching on this perimeter in that red just looks fantastic. I love the color scheme that they did in this edition. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got a presentation page. Let's see if I can turn these with one hand. Got the Spurgeon Study Bible. Here's this little copyright information. There are the ISBNs for the different editions. This one is printed in China. So we've got the books of the Bible and the contents. There's some of the additional information that is in here. So we start off with the biography of Charles Haddon Spurgeon. So I do suggest you read that if you get one of these. And he was just an amazing guy. So we've got the Lost Sermons of Spurgeon. So that is really neat. I haven't read all of them. I've read several of them. And we've got just a ton of Spurgeon quotes. They're just scattered throughout this Bible. And there's quite a few of those. So as you can see from the list there, there's a ton of them. And we've also got the Spurgeon illustrations. We do have the introduction to the CSB, and this is such a great translation. If I could just stay home and read this all day, you know, I'd probably never get anything done. But just a great, great translation. We have the abbreviations in the CSB Bible, and we're going to start getting into the Old Testament. So each one of these uh, books, all 66 books of the Bible, is going to have a nice introduction. It'll have the circumstances of the writing, the contribution to the Bible, will give you a structure, and then something from Spurgeon 
on that particular book. So if you kind of wanted to pause and read what he had to say on Genesis, just a neat introduction the way that these are done. And you get these here, which this is going to be one of the Spurgeon quotes. And it's in his own handwriting. So these are also scattered throughout the Bible. There's quite a few of those. But the color scheme in here with the green, I love that. So you have the titles here. So Genesis 1 and then chapter 1 here. And the verse numbers are all done in green. So if you can see those, just very nicely done. We've got the notes here, and then there's a little spot in here that's also done in green. But the print in this is just its very, very nice. The font is a 10-point font, so nice and readable. It's easy on the eyes, easy to read. You are going to have some ghosting, but as you can see, it is not bad at all. And you're always going to get some on thin Bible paper, but... You ask me that looks pretty darn good so here is the first promise so this is one of his actual sermons so it gives you the sermon in his own handwriting but then it also gives it to us on the other side of the page as well so if you do have a hard time reading his handwriting which it's I mean he did have nice handwriting but because the print on those is kind of small so it might make it a little bit harder to read, but I do like to read it on there. And then I also flip through to the other side and read it on there. But the color in here with the green, I really do like the green. So we have different little, these are what they call the illustrations. So they have these, tons of these scattered throughout the Bible. A lot of those, and then quite a few of the Spurgeon quotes, which are done in his own handwriting. So it's really neat. And you do have the notes in the bottom and so these are a four column format on these notes as you can see so that's kind of neat the way that it's broken up there but this is just a very very pretty bible you do get two very nice ribbon markers so you get a black one so i keep that one in the old testament and then you also do get a red one as well and so that with the black and red on the cover is absolutely beautiful. So there we have another one of those illustrations. This one is black letter, so there is not going to be any red letter in this one. So here's our introduction to Matthew. So you get the same thing, the circumstances of the writing, contribution to the Bible, the structure, and then some information from Spurgeon himself on that particular book. So you get this with every single book of the Bible. So that is neat. But just beautifully done. I do like the notes in here. I haven't really compared it to my CSB study Bible. I just compared a few pages and the notes were completely different. So that is kind of neat. So here we have a sermon that was titled The Eloquence of Jesus. So that's all done in his own writing. And then we do have it on this other side of the page. So those are awesome. And you just get lots of these little quotes just scattered throughout the Bible. So if you like Spurgeon, I mean, this would be an awesome one to get. So on this page, we see that we've got one of the quotes there. We've also got one of the illustrations, and then we get into another one of those book introductions. This one also has a concordance, and this one is done in a three-column format. And so the print on this one, so it's a little bit smaller on the print, I believe that's probably an eight-point. But with the three columns, you do get a lot of information there. It is an 83-page concordance. And I forgot to mention on this other part here. So on our notes, so up top in the main part of the text, that is a 10-point font that you see there. And then once we get into the notes on the bottom, those are done in an 8-point font. So 
a lot of study Bibles have much smaller notes, so that is nice. So everything in this is really readable. And the ghosting is not bad. So then it does also have maps in the back. These are done on a cardstock, but they're not the shiny cardstock, kind of a matte finish. But they are full color. They look very nice. There's a total of eight maps in this. And it is a sewn binding. You can see the stitching there. So the sewn binding, the fact that it's a goat skin cover, it's going to just last you a long time. And for the price on this, is fantastic. I always put a little pencil mark in there what I paid for it so but the way that they did this is just so nice I love the red and the black the red and the black on the ribbon markers I did get the thumb indexed edition and one thing that Holman does on their thumb indexing if you're not familiar with it they do black for the Old Testament books and red for the new so I think that is kind of cool. And they also have a little bit different shape on them rather than a rounded shape. They're kind of a little bit more squared off. But this Bible is absolutely gorgeous. This cover is just beautiful. That red stitching, I mean, that just looks fantastic. Very nicely done. They did a great job on this. I really enjoy reading out of it because that font is just nice with that 10 points. So nice and readable. This one here, the measurements on this one is nine and a half tall, seven inches wide. This one is an inch and three quarters. You can see that it does have the silver gilding. Got a nice shine to it. The way they did the head and tail bands with the red and black look nice. I really like the way they did the ribbons in this. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous Bible. You certainly would not be disappointed if you picked one of these up. They also have them in cloth over board. So they've got different editions. So one for every taste and every budget. But this one in this goat skin, you cannot go wrong on this. I absolutely love it. So this again has been the Spurgeon Study Bible by Holman in the Christian Standard Bible. Which is a great translation. You will love it. There's a shot of the ISBN number in case you want to get you one. But this is just a fantastic Bible. You cannot go wrong with this one. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.